What's up science team? Game of Thrones is one of my favorite shows ever. So in celebration of season eight, I wanted to do a Game of Thrones themed video. In the show, there's a substance called dragon glass, which can kill white walkers, which are kind of like zombies. So today, we're gonna create our own dragon glass and make a dragon glass dagger with my good friend who's a professional glass blower. Her name is Catherine Gray. All right, so I got these on Amazon. Uh, raw natural volcano glass. We just wanna crush some of these guys up so we can kind of roll it in our glass dagger. It's very obsidian-like. A great place to smash something. An anvil. <laughs> Master Forger. <laughs> See, that's pretty good. I'm liking that. It's nice and powdery. I've got the powder. So definitely got some powder in there. That's what we want. We want this to kind of melt into the glass. Got some big chunks in there too. I'm actually curious if this will melt or not. Only one way to find out. Okay, team, so we are here with Catherine Gray, professional glass blower. It's really loud in here. We're in, this is the hot shop, right? It's a glass blowing studio, also called a hot shop. A hot shop. Just like uh, roughly 130 degrees in here. Woo! That's a spicy meatball. A spicy meatball. This is where we generally work with molten glass, glass in its hot state. So okay. we have a furnace full of molten glass. We actually have two furnaces, one with clear glass and one with black glass. How does this work? Like, just walk us through like really simple steps. Like, how do you make stuff with glass? Well, once you have the molten glass, you we take a blowpipe, which is a steel tube, basically, and gather glass on the ends, kind of the consistency of honey. So it's like going in there with a honey dripper and trying to scoop it up. And then when you blow through the other end of the blowpipe, that glass will start to inflate. So it's almost like blowing up a balloon on the end of a long tube. All right, so that's pretty paper thin glass. That's unbelievable. So I'm just gonna... Oh, 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 no! That was the prize winning piece! No! No! So for today, we're going to be making dragon glass, right? But chemically speaking, dragon glass is obsidian, and obsidian is roughly 70% silicon dioxide. Now the glass that we use at home for like drinking cups is also 70% silicon dioxide. So here's our idea. What we're gonna do is we're going to create a dagger out of black glass. Then we're going to crush up some obsidian that I got on Amazon and we're going to sprinkle that on top, kind of like putting sprinkles on a donut, <laughs> so it could still give the magic dragon glass aspect to a dagger. That way it in fact still would kill a white walker if in fact it's still possessing this magic of the obsidian, but really like in a more updated sort of like new technology kind of way. So if we had to have like a whole army and staff them up with these types of White Walker dagger blades. This would be the way to do it. This would be the way to do it. So we're really, we're preparing for the future. The wall has already been compromised. It is time to take out some of the White Walkers. So the first step is what? what what's the first step here? So to make the dagger, we're actually technically not gonna be blowing. We'll oh. just be using solid glass and kind of sculpting okay. it and making the handle and then the blade part of it. Got it. So. All right, well, let's start there. Let's get that glass. Okay. Let's uh, work our glass off. Let's move our glass. I, I mean, I'm all out of it, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just gathering up some clear glass. This will be for the handle part. I'm not gonna do a ton of shaping with this, so we'll just kind of soften it, flatten it softly, and then stretch it out a little bit to make our handle. This is what's called a neckline. This is where we'll break it off when we're done with it at the end. So I'm using what's called a glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on! I mean, come on! Who came up with that? Eh? Basically, it's a reheating chamber. So, you know, when a glass comes out of the furnace, like we said, it's about 2100 degrees. As it cools, it gets a little stiffer and harder. So we have to keep putting it back into the glory hole to let it get soft. Just kind of opposite of So I'm pretty good on this shape and so we're just gonna put that little bit that's like a little bit of a design element but we'll separate the blade and the handle. Alright, is that looking like a good handle part so far? Oh yeah. Okay. So we're always gonna flash that and maintain that part. 
obsidian. All right, dragon glass ish. So cool. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Getting all those white walking, killing <laughs> juju right. going on. <laughs> so I'm just going to give this a really kind of preliminary shaping here. Going to flatten it and actually just to kind of make it hopefully a little bit more realistic, give it a little wedge on one side. So I'm just going to bring that over and we're going to kind of drop it on here. That looks so sweet! How's that look for length? That's great. We'll put it in what we call an annealer, so it cools really slowly to relieve stress. So, if you had to guess, what's the likelihood that's going to survive the annealer? I would say slim. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance? I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> that's all we needed to know. So why would this potentially not survive any other? Well, the, even though the obsidian and the glass that we have in the furnace share a lot of common ingredients, they're not exactly the same and they're going to shrink as they cool at different rates. Chances are it's not going to want to stay attached here and chances are the obsidian is not going to want to stay embedded in the clear glass and it's probably going to want to crack off. Fingers crossed when it goes in the annealer, anything could happen. It is dragon glass by the way. We're working with sorcery here. Oh wow, she's like in a full She's going life. in the oven. She's going in the oven. Have a good journey. Goodbye. <laughs> I pray for her to both the new gods and the old gods. Okay, so there we go. We made our first blade. We rolled it up in obsidian, so the glass kind of has obsidian crush inside of it. Uh -huh. This would clearly kill a white walker if need be. Oh, definitely. Um, we're gonna do one with black glass. Same type of shape, same everything. And uh, as just a backup, you know what I mean? Because if, if things don't go right, we wanna make sure at least we have one to stab a white walker watermelon. I'm just letting this cool before gathering again. You can already see that it's black back here. That part's cooling the quickest. It's still got a lot of heat up at the front there where it's still blowing. Shape the handle here the same way we did last time. I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of an all over chill. Oh, wow, it turns color as soon as it cools. Yeah, yeah, the black is really obvious. You can see where it's making contact with that metal surface. Together. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that was so crazy. You made it look so easy up until now. Yeah. I think working with glass is a little harder than <laughs> what our viewers think. proper gear to touch the glass. Oh. <laughs> and in she goes. Nine hundred and thirty degrees is the annealing temperature for this kind of glass. Wow. And then so that helps it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> so that kind of stabilizes everything and then it comes down over 12 hours to about room temperature. So like because if I were just be like alright sweet cool like I'm gonna take this with me now it would Basically, just shattered my hand. Yeah, probably within the next 20 minutes. Oh, wow, yeah. that fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Oh, wow, yeah, that's, that's a very short life. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, we crushed up some obsidian, we rolled it into a clear glass blade, and then as a backup, we made a black glass blade. We're gonna bludgeon some White Walker watermelon. It's gonna happen regardless. I'm Kelly Gray. Thank you so much for today. Where can we find you on the internet? 
I have a website, katherine-gray.com. There will be a link in the description below, but we're not done yet. Once we get this stuff out of the annealer, then we're going to test it to see if it would actually take down a white walker. Okay, so we saw in the video that they survived the annealer. So the annealing gods were very good to us. I believe, okay, so this is our black dagger. Wow, they're turned out really nice. It's very heavy, I like it. So now this is the one that I'm the most curious about. This is the one that we have obsidian actually laced into the glass. And this is the one that we were pretty sure would not make it through the annealer, and it did make it through the annealer. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a test. We're gonna go ahead and put this, <laughs> the King of the White Walkers, on a watermelon, and so we're going to go ahead and give it a jab to see exactly how well our, our new age White Walker uh, daggers would work. <laughs> That's pretty good. I know. All right, so I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to try the black one first. Um, just to get a kind of an idea about how this works. Because I really like the clear one. Like, I like it so much I don't want to break it. And so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to, we're going to try this one first. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I don't know. I just hope this doesn't break. All right, three, two, one. Oh, my. <laughs> it went in there like butter. <laughs> like it literally did that just <laughs> so softly. I mean it like it was very effortless for that to go in there. That is like, you know, White Walker Death 101. That worked so well. I, let's just try the other one because I feel like it's not gonna break. This has all the magic of the obsidian of the dragon glass. If this were out on the battlefield proven uh, in Game of Thrones, this would destroy a White Walker. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> it was like barely like any effort at all right through the face. I think this would work extremely well. I mean, I barely, barely pushed and it went right into the melon. I'm gonna give it a second shot with the White Walker juice all over it. Three, two, one. <laughs> it feels so gory. It works extremely well. Our White Walker updated dragon glass Obsidian rolled regular glass dagger is a total success. If I were out on the battlefield in 2019 with some White Walkers, this is what I would want in my hand. Okay, so there we go. We created a dragon glass dagger with regular clear glass, which is chemically very similar to obsidian. And then we took real obsidian and we crushed it up and we rolled it on the outside of the blade. It survived the annealer, which I was shocked by. Then in our test with a White Walker watermelon, it destroyed the watermelon so easily. Uh, so this is kind of like a new updated version of Dragon Glass. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know what is your favorite season of Game of Thrones. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.